So you need better front-end development projects? You reach right video. Let me explain. This video was brought to you by Digilink Academy, your number one source to learning programming fast and get to that six-figure salary you desire. Our 30-day project course includes our JavaScript front-end projects, our Python back-end projects, our SQL database projects, and much, much more. So go ahead and click the link below to our free seven-step guide so that you can start reaching your programming goals today. I'll see you guys in the course. All right, guys, I'm gonna jump right into some of these uh, programming languages, but I'm gonna set the table first before we actually get started, guys. A lot of the stuff we're gonna talk here on this video is going to be about real world projects that you can put on your resume and make a difference and showcase your value as a actual front end developer. What you guys are traditionally thinking about projects is training tutorial style projects that you would do in a course, which nothing's wrong with those when you're actually learning the fundamentals just to get you uh, in a general idea or learning of um, uh, general concepts. But those don't necessarily move the needle for a business. Calculator apps, hello world, great stuff when you're trying to learn and just know how to learn the syntax, know how to read uh, programming languages at the very beginning. But we want to quickly get shift to some of the real world projects that we're going to talk about in this video. Before we get started, guys, what I need you to do, guys, do list some of your projects below what you've been working on as a front end developer. You don't have to get a lot of detail, but what type of projects that you've been working on that you've been struggling with that you have been in interviews with and they didn't even pay attention to? Because in this video, we're going to talk about projects that's going to help put you over the top. And you're going to be surprised that a lot of these are not traditional programming uh, projects that a front end developer would do, but you would be able to benefit from it and stand out from the competition. So go ahead and comment below about some of the projects that you've been working on that you've been struggling with so we can help take your career to the next level or at the very minimum, make your project game a whole lot better when it comes to showcasing your value, guys. So at the end of the day, guys, Projects is where it starts and ends as a developer. I don't care what you're doing, where you at, um, training, uh, trying to get a job, uh, trying to help troubleshoot um, or take move the uh, company forward. It starts and ends with projects. When you start off learning, I, I highly recommend you guys um, to start doing project-based course uh, learning, project-based learning. We talk about this in my seven step guide and also my 30 day developer course. You want to start doing project based learning, real project based learning, because what this does for you, it gets you way ahead of the competition. You're learning the code base. You're learning how to read code. You're learning how to navigate code. And at the same time, you will learn a lot more looking at existing code than trying to break new code from scratch. I know it sounds counterintuitive, but trust me, it's a proven method. Once you kind of learn how good people or regular people or regular developers know how to write code, you're going to start to pick up on the trends and how to be able to write code yourself if you're writing it from scratch. And at the end of the day, you're not going to be writing a lot of code from scratch uh, or programs from the end of scratch anyway. So it's best to just learn how to read code and then know how to insert new code where existing code was. That's, that's going to be one of the quickest ways to actually learn real world project development but at the end of the day guys that's just the learning side of it the actual project based side of it where you will need these to actually move the business and i want to go over a few of these with you guys at first all right so number one onboarding offboarding businesses have people coming in and out you have to give them access to this application that can be a very very hard um process to do especially over time where you got a ton of people in and you know most of the time companies actually submit those requests to it hey give access to, and then you have to go through give access to all these systems and things like that it would be great if you guys can provide a module on the front end that a grant a general hr user access or uh users um to be able to put in the username and password or email account, whatever that may be, and they grant 
that application or that module grants access to all of those applications on the front end, something IT don't have to manage. And a lot of the way to do that is by role-based access, guys. And a lot of you guys don't think this way. You just think that, hey, I'm just gonna do a traditional login in my front end and I'll put in, once once the business put in a request for the actual users, then I, mm -mm, don't think like that, guys. You want to be able to hand something over, they be able to manage it themselves and the only time they come to you for exceptions so let's just say they got a new position or something like that they want to feel and what that new position got access to maybe you have a little of that in the future but as that uh front end application matures you're going to even build in that functionality over time but just kind of put your toe in the water and kind of go from there same with offboarding guys just like they onboard that actual user got access to they can actually take access away from the front end guys and that's throughout all your application interacting together and we talk about this in my seven skip guide i can't go over all the details in the um of the actual application but this is just one of the well two onboarding offboarding uh, applicant uh programs you can build and if you have on your resume that you can do this as a front-end developer guess who's going to be the head of the pack you so go ahead and jump on that guys and get started um number three as a uh as a project security based projects i know you are a front-end developer you need to worry about security um again this is where you are going beyond what a typical front-end development would actually do first of all a lot of us are building web apps SaaS related apps cloud apps that's going to be accessed from everywhere and when you have access when you have that level of access that's not traditional logging into a RDP or terminal server session or actually having physical access to a work related computer security is at the utmost importance because now people don't have to physically get in your building to get access to your application especially on the front end they just need to be able to log into that computer or log to that application two things right off the bat you can do geo or um, let's say uh, geo based access. You already know most com most countries don't need access to your application. You can build that functionality in pretty good on the front end of your application. So the minute somebody try to log into that application from the web that's not in an IP range that you are you whitelisted, you need to disable those users from accessing your application. The same with the brute force. The minute they try to log in, well, most of the time with Geo, they wouldn't even be able to get to it. But let's just say they just, hey, um, I used the VPN just to get in on that system and I had a IP or MAC address that actually I, I could use or spoof or whatever that may be. And then they get to the actual login system and they try to brute force. You can create actual a uh, interface to where if somebody try to log in so many times, you will automatically um, blacklist or put that that particular IP or that workstation under review so that it can protect your front end or your application. This is the kind of stuff people wanna to start to see guys from front end developers, yes. At the very minimum, put up a shield or something on the front end say you have no access, please contact this number. Companies love that stuff guys and gonna really help put you in a position to win. And again, we talk about that in the seven skip guide. If you haven't already, click the link to that um, in the uh, description below to actually get started there. Last but not least is reporting. I think this is one that even you beginners can really take advantage of because let's just say you know how to build a form or just an interactive application where you type in an order number it give you details about that order or that person whatever that object you may be working on well let's just say hey you're doing stuff for a customer and you're working with a specific customer you got to order stuff from them and all that stuff well <clears throat> there's a such thing as some pilot don't pay their bills and if we continually um, provide services for a person who don't pay their bills we're going to eventually go broke because we're basically providing services and they're not paying us it would be great if i'm over here in accounting i know that this person can't pay their bills and i know they're, they're on a bad credit list 
over over here on the operation side on the ground floor when they try to type that customer's id they would actually see that <laughs> and be able to do that on the front end that would save so much time and save the company money so that they can really find out hey you know i can't do business with you or hey could, do you have money to pay this before we conduct the business this dynamic reporting guys giving information on the front end of the application that normally you would have to let make a call to get the at that level of access and it's real time guys so these are just some examples just some projects that you if you put on your resume in your portfolio and you stand out versus other front end developers you're gonna be ahead of the game guys and again we talk about more about this in my 30 day lunch pad course go ahead we got good rates for that guys and links below to that and also the seven step guide which i'll put a link to here on the screen at the end like subscribe to the uh, content i'll see you guys in the next video click on the link peace